We've actually got a little bit of a special guest who's just dropped by the studio. Mr. Mark Grotefeld, if you want to say hello. Hi, Dan. Oh, well, I wouldn't say special, but I'm just <laughs> popping in. <laughs> so, how are you doing, Mark? Very good, Dan. Thank you. How are you doing? This yeah. isn't your first trip on the island this year, no, is it? No, no, not at all. Um, yeah, I've been here, it's about fourth or fifth. Been here about four, five weeks in total. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't tell my boss. Yeah, no, no stranger to the island <laughs> then. Definitely not. No, no, I've come here a good few years now. Okay, now um, what about the start of the season? You were quite heavily involved in the IMS, weren't you? Yeah, we, um, we're the main sponsor for the IMS, so this was the third year. Um, second year at the Grand, first year it was um, spread over three different venues. So, uh, yeah, we were, we were very involved, yeah. You know, right. involved with the partners and involved with the content and, the, of course, the Dolk Villa party, uh, which is superb. You know, the line-up there, yeah, it's good. It's a great sort of opening, really, for the whole Ibiza. Yeah, so you feel it was, it was a success and something that Ibiza needs and sort of, a, you know, everyone coming together because, yeah. you know, everyone's saying that Miami's a bit, kind of lost its way a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we are trying to keep it... Uh, about the about the business, you know. So it is very much about. I know it sounds a little bit boring on the radio, but it's, it's very much about the seminars. It's about it's about the industry people and what it's about networking and synergy and and how they can move the electronic industry forward and how people can make money out of it. Basically, you know. So the focus is on that, and that is that is very rewarding. Um, it's not so much about the parties, and we're trying to keep it about about the chat and the talk and the you know and the and how, how we can all. Uh, uh, benefit each other and make the whole thing grow so the focus from a party point of view is the big Friday night party at Dolt Villa yeah <laughs> nice okay now um, kind of moving on from that you know sort of Pioneer's got quite a deep relationship with the island hasn't it why, I mean why would you think the Pioneer sort of you know why is it beef is so important um, yeah, we've been obviously. I mean, m- my role at Pioneer is I'm, I'm, I'm head of marketing here for Pioneer Europe. So, um, and of course, one of Pioneer's growing business lines is the DJ business, or mixers, turntables, and etc. So, um, you know, it's very easy for me and my team to come to one place, one island, uh, and and uh, see new products, new technologies, new ideas, and here you know, we get access to the world's top clubs, the groovy bars, and, and of course all the world's top DJs are here within a very short, small space of time. So it's very, very easy for us to set up little projects and little networking activities like the IMS and work with the clubs and get our products exposed and get hold of all the people, producers, artists, labels, um, and of course DJs, promoters, um, and everyone we need to. Uh, that has global reach and global reference and it saves us running around the world for a year and we can do it all here in six weeks. Yeah, I think also the other important thing about Ibiza is that it's no one's turf. You know, it's not American turf, it's not British turf. So everyone who comes here kind of feels like they're a visitor and they're excited because kind of Ibiza's always got that kind of feel good feeling that you're you are away from the office exactly. or what you know whether your office is kind of in the netherlands or sort of in germany or exactly. whatever you know everyone kind of comes here to kind of unwind a bit and everyone always have co- has confidence that the clubs are going to be great yeah yeah and you know it's truly a global you know it's a global seeding and reference ground for us so you know we, we would would reach a u.s market would it would even reach an asian market and obviously every country in 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 europe um and um, you know, and we do things with passion. We do things with Mambo, and we have little little rooms set up there to, to see product. Of course, we you know you're obviously a, a passion for us on three three nights a week, and showing people our new technologies and our, and our new mixers. And as product becomes more complicated, we need people like you on the island and you know, people that are working with Pioneer based to to help train and explain what our products are doing. Well, let's talk about some of those sexy uh-huh. yeah, new products. Quick, quick yeah. product. <laughs> Plug. Link, yeah. link, link, yeah. link, link. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah let, let's start off with, uh, I mean, obviously we launched the CDJs 2000s, CDJ 2000s last, yeah. last summer. Yeah. But now it's really all about sort of integrating them into the clubs so, yeah. and the DJM 2000s. Yeah, so that's why the, the DJM 2000, I won't talk too much about products, it's a little bit boring for people, but um, that's why the, the DJM 2000, which is, you know, the compatible mixer for, this, for the new CDJs, is very important. I mean, it's important for us, I think it's important for the clubs, and we hope it's important for the industry because it is very much a link. I mean, it's a product that enables you 
the DJ to get the most out of the CDJs because the CDJ 2000s, of course, uh, you know, they're a step change. I mean, they're a, a mu- they're a much significant evolution uh, on the 1000 on the marks of the 1000 before. So, you know, with the with the new mixer and the record box software and and the players, I mean, this the amount of synergy in that setup is quite massive. Um, and the mixer is, is, a, is a key part of that. So, you know, we, we're very keen that the, the big clubs understand it. And, you know, and the bars on the island, like, you know, the, the groovy places, the Ken Five and the Mambos and the, and the Blue Marlins, and that the, the mixer is there and that and the, and the DJs are, uh, are seeing its potential in conjunction with the other new products coming out. Yeah. Okay, I mean... Oh, it's y- very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Tourette's. <laughs> I mean, I think that, you know, from your point of view, I mean, where's DJing actually going? You know, I know that's a very mm, open-ended very nice question, but, you know, we were talking, yeah. we were walking around Amnesia yesterday and, yeah. you know, that, they were saying that the DJ show is so much more than, you know, yeah. two turntables and a mixer yeah. now. And, you know, everyone wants sort of a bigger production yeah. and something that, yeah. you know, because I think the crowd really need to yeah. see the DJ performing yeah. now, you know. I think- I mean, it's a big question. I mean, I'm not a techie guy, I'm a marketing guy, so I, I mean, I'm not really the one to ask that question. <laughs> but um, we are, you know, we are trying to. Obviously, we want Pioneer to have a permanent home in the booth. I mean, it's, it's our business. We make no, no bones about that. But we, we will only do that by constantly evolving and, and pushing the boundaries and adding value to the DJ so they can perform better. I mean, it's not in our interest, and I don't think it's in. In we were talking about this yesterday with Amnesia. It's not in in the interest of the clubs or the DJs for the DJ booth to shrink down into one Mac or to one laptop. You know, because uh, promoters won't be able to charge that sort of money, the clubs won't want to spend you know, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 euros for a DJ if they're paying out the laptop and people want to perform. You know, and so we, we do like the, we do like to see the Murillos and the Hallowells out there and really moving uh, from one side of the booth to another, twisting lots of knobs, pushing lots of buttons. Uh, and we, we think that's important. And so, and you say where, where, where DJ, where's DJ going? I mean, I was with Pedro at, at Space today, and we were talking about the Pet Spaces party tonight. Um, some Japanese. How, how do I say that? Kahukuma. <laughs> yeah, Kahukuma. You know, and of course, there's lots of live acts in that, uh, and so uh, and so the booth is becoming quite quite technical and it's difficult for the sound guys i mean there you know, there's lots of laptops and lots of stuff coming in lots of mini controllers and lots of live in- instruments as well um and so you know i think the whole live thing and the whole playing and djs playing live and bringing in lots and lots of shorter samples and mixing everything up and uh you know it's all becoming quite quite intricate but um you know, I sort of think gone are the days where it's just one mixer and two CD players. Yeah. Uh, but that's okay for us. I mean, ev- everyone moves on and, and music styles move on. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be there adding new things all the time. Okay. Does I that mean, make any sense? Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> very, very interesting. Um, but, I mean, come on, Mark. You've yeah. been coming here years. Let's get a bit personal, right? Oh, what dear. your favourite place yeah. to lose yourself on the dance floor? Oh, dance dance floor. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, okay, if, okay if, to, to, to be honest, space closing and opening. I mean, I do in the love car park, it. Yeah? I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. My favourite place in Ibiza is probably somewhere in the hills on my mountain bike. You know, uh, uh, it's peaceful. You know deep in some track or I don't know where I am so, yeah. so basically yeah. you, you can get lost in, in two very different ways in Ibiza yeah yeah one definitely. on the dance floor definitely. and one up definitely. in the hills but I mean I, we're talking about I mean we're talking about, but, but daytime clubbing for me yeah, I, that's, that's, that's what I love you know, so yeah. that, that, that's why I love space opening and closing. I mean, it's during the day. I can get there at one. I can party all day in the sun, have a few drinks, and 12 o'clock, great. I love it. I can be back in bed. I can yeah. be in bed at two and get up the next day. And so that's why I like what Blue Marlin are doing. That work works for me. You know, and, and Ashwire. Ashw- Ashw- and anything that is daytime in the sun, uh, which is attracting good crowds and, and, and good DJs, you know, I, I, mean, I mean, I'd love to see Ibiza go back to that. Yeah, well, hint, hint, council, council. Let's Yo, see what. Yeah, let's see. You know, let's see what the yeah, government can yeah. come back. Oh, with, it's, it's only because cause it's just personal. I like to be better. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah. I think there's nothing better than kind of losing it on the dance floor or on the beach during the you know, day like with when, the sun. When the sun yeah, yeah, when the sun's super. coming down. You know, how many other yeah, countries exactly, can we do that? Exactly. So. Yeah. 
absolutely excellent well thank Cheers, you so Jack. much yeah. Mark for coming on the show very so, very interesting so, sorry to butt in on Anthony yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can boot me out now <laughs> now, now I've plugged our products great <laughs> thanks Dan thanks so much good Mark good job good job take it easy Ha, <laughs> ha,